Grand Theft Auto Online lets players take a joyride through Los Santos with well over 300 different vehicles that range from monster trucks to tricked out supercars. The variety of automobiles found in GTA Online is a motorhead's dream, but accruing enough money to purchase a snazzy ride can take a while for anyone new to GTA 5's multiplayer mode. Luckily, Rockstar has hidden plenty of free cars across GTA Online's maps that gamers can claim. Sure, players can steal all the best GTA Online vehicles they come across on the streets of Los Santos, but a majority of those don't have anything special that sets them apart. On the other hand, secret cars are unique vehicles that users can earn by stumbling across them or completing a challenge to unlock them. Many of these are one of a kind, so GTA Online players will want to track them down to expand their car collection further. Hello there, and welcome to the Gaming Daily Input Channel. Wanting to score some rare GTA 5 vehicles online? Well, watch the video until the end, because we have the ultimate guide on how, where, and when to find them. But before starting the video, make sure you're subscribed to our channel, Gaming Daily Input, so that you never miss our exciting GTA 5 videos. Now, without further ado, let us begin with this video. Number 6. Modded Dubsta 2 how often do you find yourself driving along Vespucci Beach in anything less than a $3 million hypercar? For most, it's not often. Back in the day, when Grand Theft Auto Online launched, you would be forgiven for driving, say, a Declass Vigero. But these days, if your vehicle isn't rare, heavily modded, and expensive, why even bother? So, you don't have to settle for an everyday vehicle when an extremely rare, modded Dubsta 2 awaits. But first, if you want to find a modded Dubsta 2 spawn, you must meet specific requirements. Prepare yourself, because this can take a while. The modded Dubsta 2 spawns between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. near a particular driveway in Vinewood Hills. Once you carjack your first modded Dubsta 2, you can take it to Los Santos Customs to make it your own. Afterward, you can use it to spawn more by taking your newfound possession to a specific intersection on West Eclipse Boulevard. Once you arrive, you'll see another copy of the vehicle, which will spawn there daily without you having to camp out and wait for it. Number 5. Rusted Tractor With an unimaginable breadth of supercars, rocket bikes, personal jets, and auto cannon wielding tanks, Grand Theft Auto features a ton of unique options to get around. It's somewhat understandable, then, that you'd ask, why a tractor? Some players think that Rockstar Games is trolling the community by implementing a player-owned tractor unlockable via sponsorship tier 1000 in Arena War game modes. It is the reward for reaching the max level. Unfortunately, getting one may ultimately prove too difficult. To start, you may not find as many players in Arena War now as there were when it first launched. Unlocking the Rusted Tractor and achieving Sponsorship Tier 1000 will require you to play tens of thousands of matches, and you need to win each one. For most, that may seem impossible, but if you're dead set on driving a tractor in Grand Theft Auto, a few spawn around the map, such as at El Gordo Lighthouse near Grape Seed. Just keep in mind that the tractor is slow and unwieldy, and therefore prone to attack by other players. Number 4. Space Docker When you hop into a free roam session in Grand Theft Auto Online, you're inundated with futuristic vehicles, like the Oppressor MK2 in all its overbearing glory. You wouldn't think GTA 5 and GTA Online delved into the futuristic, at least not at first glance. But dig deeper. Rockstar Games added a touch of mystery and mystique to its open-world game, with vehicles like the rare Space Docker available to players willing to grind. How do you get a space docker in Grand Theft Auto V? It's not easy. If you want the privilege of driving this retro-futuristic buggy, then prepare to grind through Arena War to achieve Sponsorship Tier 500. That doesn't sound overly difficult, especially with game modes like Demolition Derby, which is an absolute blast to play online. Unfortunately, Arena War launched way back in December 11th, 2018, since then, Rockstar has continuously updated and improved upon its multiplayer mayhem modes with recent content updates and features. Even back in 2018, the thrill wore off quickly and many players quit the mode outright. 
you'd be hard pressed to find an active lobby to grind out sponsorship tiers nowadays. Enjoying this video? If yes, make sure to leave a like in this video. Which rare cars will you grind for? Let us know in the comments section down below. Number 3. FIB Buffalo Who within the Grand Theft Auto community has never found themselves on the wrong side of the law in-game? No one. It's all part of the experience. But if the local police cannot handle your shenanigans, then the Federal Investigation Bureau, or FIB, enters the fray. The Alphabet Letter Agency houses tough-as-nails agents donning body armor and more potent weapons than the LSPD carries daily. They also drive better vehicles, like the unique FIB Buffalo. The Federal Chase vehicle is a modified sports sedan that, unfortunately, is rather tough to get your hands on for keeps. Sure, you can steal one after taking down an FIB agent. You cannot modify it or insure it, though. If you want to secure an FIB Buffalo, prepare to grind out hostile takeover VIP missions. The one you want involves the Los Santos National Airport, where a single obtainable FIB Buffalo spawns in one of the hangars. Number 2. Maibatsu Mule With many, many basic vehicles available to purchase, you can't help but ask yourself, why? The whole point of Grand Theft Auto is freedom. The freedom to do as you please, to drive what you please, and to have fun doing so. That's why this unique Maibatsu Mule, a unique variant of the typical box truck, remains coveted among many online. What makes this Maibatsu Mule so unique and worthwhile? This is a unique ramp door version of the box truck, which the GTA team initially cut from the game. Rockstar, however, later reintroduced it into Grand Theft Auto Online. The thing is, Rockstar only included the unique box truck in a single resupply mission during the gun running update, and you can't steal it to own. Once you complete the steal supplies mission and destroy a rival competitor in the drug trade, you lose the truck. Number 1. Lost Slam Van The Lost Slam Van, a completely unique variant of the Vapid Slam Van, is a super rare vehicle in the Grand Theft Auto Online. In order to get one, you'll need a lot of good fortune while spinning the lucky wheel at Diamond Casino and Resort. When you spin the wheel, which you can do once per day, you have a 14.3% chance of winning a mystery vehicle. If you win, there is a 0.72% chance of that mystery vehicle being a lost slam van. In total, the chance comes out to roughly 0.005% shot, which equates to 1 in 20,000. This makes the Lost Slam Van one of the most hard to come by vehicles in the whole game. Anyone lucky enough to win the Lost Slam Van, which features designs from the Lost Motorcycle Club, will truly earn the right to show it off. Perhaps one day Rockstar will make this unique variant easier to obtain. Or maybe it'll just stay rare forever. And that's it! Hope this tutorial helps you get rare cars in GTA 5 Online. Which car is your personal favorite among the above list? Thank you so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Gaming Daily Input, for more videos like this and to keep yourselves updated in the gaming world. Comment below if you have any suggestions or requests. See you soon in the next video. Thanks!